How did you do that? How did you do that? I decided to add this and this video um, it was supposed to be on the last video but since I started rendering it and uh, it was like 9 30 p.m. and I'm about to go to bed and I was like you know I'll just record it and I'll add it in the next video so I weigh myself before I went to bed I always do that and uh, I did gain some weight I gained about two pound on that day it's not a big deal but I will show you what caused it. So I went on my food log to put the information. See, I started at 128.6 uh, pounds. These are all the things that I ate throughout the day. I ate pasta with cabbage. Uh, I made some muffins. Um, the thing was sitting in the kitchen quite some time. Um, I decided to make it, and I ate three of it after I, make, I baked it. Three muffins. As you can see, I said homemade. And then I ate two rolls of rich crackers. I went out with the kids that day and I bought the crackers with me. And I ended up eating two rolls of it. And then a few minutes, I would say an hour before I weigh myself and, uh, you know, I drank a glass of milk and then I went to bed. So that's what caused the two pound uh, gain. I decided to go a bit later today because um, I'm just gonna do legs and I'm gonna stretch a little bit but I'm not gonna do major workout so that's why I decided to leave a little bit later today so I'm heading out right now I'm gonna get my bag and go just eat the peanut butter
close this. Uh, did you guys start reading? That is first. That includes you, Mark. We have doctor appointment today. Yeah. Like around, we have to leave here around two. It's kind of hot. Are you guys hot here, or maybe it's just me who just came from outside? Okay. It's just me. Okay. June 29th and it's 10 or 4 10 or 5 a.m. Um, came from the gym a while ago um, I sort of uh, went to the gym a bit later than usual um, because I was gonna do legs and I wasn't planning on doing a lot of stuff I was gonna do some stretch uh, stretching with the uh, foam rolling which I did and did and I did some leg lifts uh, on the woman chair. I did all of that. Um, what is it? What else? Oblique cable. I did it at the end, but uh, after I did the foam rolling, I did oblique woman chair and leg lifts. So what happened is that I went a little bit later because the majority of my workouts were gonna be seven sets of twelve between. 20 to 40 second rest when I do it like that the t it goes really fast even though there's a lot of sets but when I time myself to do it it tends to go faster no my um, and everything else were timed uh, you know from what is it abductors adductors calves hamstring these were the major workouts I was gonna do today which I did um, today and all of them were gonna be timed. The only things that, I'm sorry, you're gonna hear my kids in the background. This is why I had to go to uh, gym early. So while they're sleeping, their dad's is home with them. So I didn't have to uh, you know, worry about going to the gym later in the evening. So uh, all of these were done. And when I did them, it goes, when I do it uh, based on time, uh, you know, I take minimal rest and things like that. It goes really fast. This is why I went a bit later. Um, I think it was, I got there maybe, f uh, what time did I get there? Actually, I could tell you my workout. Actually, there are two times my uh, thing was not working. Oh, I didn't put the first portion yet. The, uh, this is going to be for the first portion where my heart rate uh, started working and then it stopped working. And this is the second portion when it started working again, 6, 625. So I think the first portion is like 6, uh, 610 or so. But whatever, I'll put that later on. Um, so my, my heart rate monitor gave me some issues. And it took a lot of my time because I really wanted to monitor my heart rate and everything, especially when I'm doing these. So while I was doing foam rolling at the beginning, and I checked my watch, it was not working. It was showing 200. My heart rate was up to 200, but I didn't feel like I was doing much for 200. So I kept it running. I was like, maybe, you know, it's showing something that I, I'm not feeling. So later on, I checked again, it stopped working. Since then, it kept messing up. It took me a good 10 minutes to actually make it work. And then, um, I still felt like it wasn't really working that well and as you can see I already put here second time heart rate not working properly still this is the final result I am gonna leave it as this but knowingly I don't think it's correct so that kept me a very long time uh, fixing the heart rate so once I finished it I was about to give up but uh, trying to fix it because uh, I'm trying to finish fast um, by the time, I think I record the time when I uh, uh, 
so I record a couple of times um, of my heart rate uh, watch. Um, some, I believe, when it uh, stopped working, so I monitor the time I started, and mostly for the time that I started, and the uh, calories that was burned from the time it stopped working. And then I started again, and this is where it started working again at 625. So, yeah, with that being said, I did almost everything that I set out to, to do. Uh, the only thing I did not do, and I will explain why I did not do them. Um, I then do the band, where I do several different stretch uh, with the band on my, with my legs and stuff like that. The step up I did not do. Uh, the hack squat I did not do. The reason is that after I did these, the seven sets of twelve of, especially the last one. The uh, which one? Oh, okay, I need to follow it properly so I know. Okay, which one was that? It was the leg press. It's the leg press that was the killer, not leg extension. This one, leg press. I did uh, first. I started with nothing on the machine, no plates on the machine. I did several reps to warm up, and then I did. Uh, I put one plate again it's just warm up the second time I uh, the second plate that I put which equal to 90 pounds uh, that's when I started my working set and that was the last one that I did and it was a killer I started feeling my knees sort of it wasn't hurting it's just that uncomfortableness and I'm I was afraid to do anything else after it and it might jeopardize me working especially this afternoon I have to take the kids to the doctor around two o'clock so I need my legs for that so I said you know what I think I did enough I did the uh, abductors uh, right after I uh, did the foam rolling I did the abductors adductors three sets of 12 for both of them and then I did the hamstring curl uh no i did the calf after that the calf uh raises i did seven sets of 12 i, I did a couple warm-ups before uh single legs first before i do the working set and then uh once i got to the working set it was a killer seven sets of 12 repetitions with uh minimal rest uh between 20 and 40 second rest and i didn't even take all the 40 second rest and right after that i did the hamstring seated um again i started with single legs i did couple reps very light uh, one leg at a time and then the working set i believe it was 70 pounds and i did seven reps with uh seven seven sets 12 rep between 20 and 40 second rest the leg extension that's where i started feeling the uncomfortableness the first three sets were good I believe it was 90 pounds, not 110, just 90 pounds. No, it was 110. I was thinking of bringing it down. I said, you know what, since I did the first three sets with 110, there's no reason I'm not going to feel good knowing that I reduced the, the weight. If I had started with the 90 pounds, the working set with 90 pounds, I would have been fine. But it's because I started the first three sets with uh, uh, 110 pounds. I started feeling my legs, you know, feeling very sore. I had the intention of lowering it to 90 pounds, and I was like, no, I, I better, since I started 110, I better finish it with 110. So, and I kept uh, the first three sets, I did not take all 40 second rest. Um, the four, fifth, six, and seventh set, actually, the seventh set, I took longer than 40 second. But the Four, five, six was exactly 40 seconds. The last set, you know, I was feeling it very badly. It was really, really sore. So I took a little bit more than 40 seconds. So that was that with the leg extension. And that's when I went to the uh, leg press, uh, which I already explained. I started with nothing on the machine, no weights. And then I went, I had one one plate, one 45 pound plate, did couple reps just to warm up again. And then I add two plates. That was my working set, 90 pound. And I did seven sets of 12. That was a killer also. And once I was done with these two, the last two, leg extension and leg press, 
I felt my knees. I felt it really good. So I said, you know what? I'm not going to um, do any more. I, I left the step up. I left the, the band. And I went and did the, the cable oblique. Right after I finished did the cable oblique, I hung my um, on the scrap rack and stretched the oblique. And that was done. And I came home. And by the time I came home, it was already 7 something. And I had to wash back too. So time and the way my leg was feeling, I said, you know what, that, that's enough. So that was it for today. And today is uh, week three. It's week three, day three. And I need to put the first uh, portion of my heart rate information in here. I didn't do it yet. I need to look at the video to see the time and the, uh, the time that I started and the amount of calories that burnt. Um, I'm not even considerate, but whatever is showing on the on the recording I'll, I'll put it just because it's there I have the information I'll put it there but deep inside me I know it's no good so that's about it and I think I'm gonna put a video out I was just checking my thing that was uploaded that was yesterday uh, I, I've been really trying to update those uh, videos as soon as possible I stay up at night to do them as you can see there's one in the background that's being uploaded right now that's rendering I have three hours and 45 minutes left uh, I try not to let them all piled up so I will stay late at night after you know feeding the kids do everything go out with them and I'm exhausted I said you know what let's do those videos because uh, I see that some of them are helping people and uh, I wanna put them out as soon as possible and this one is I think during my rest day, I did some stretches, stretching uh, at home, and uh, I recorded it, and uh, you know, I did that. Uh, also, edited it as soon as possible. Did I put it live yet? Not yet. Those two views are my is me, not the uh, people who've seen it because I haven't um, uh, public uh, published it live yet. So this will be and I'm thinking of putting this live now the tips that I feel like because uh, people were asking me uh, especially for these videos the summer program thing is because someone sort of asked me about uh, putting plan out for beginners so I decided to put myself on, uh, on a plan and not only that the week prior I started that plan I was feeling a little bit not depressed I will not say depressed I just didn't have the motivation to be at the gym so I decided to put myself in the plan the summer plan to sort of motivate me to get back into the gym and the first two weeks I was feeling it and today not so good not because uh, I don't feel like I guess the workout was a bit brutal so that's about it and I hope some of these videos help give you some ideas and how I approach my workout and uh, please share them and let me know what you think Thanks. And I'm really sorry about the noise in the background. This is what I'm trying to tell you guys. I'm a mother. No matter how much I tell them to keep it quiet, it's like I was talking to the wall. They didn't even hear me. It's like they, I, it's almost like I'm telling them to make more noise. So anyway, let me get going. I need to get ready. I need to take them to the doctor. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share. Okay, just came from the doctor with the kids. Um, I uh, need to take care of this before they go to school because that's the first thing they need to bring uh, once they, the first day of school. So I went and take care of it as soon as possible. When I left, I did not eat. So I need to, uh, on my way home, I was in the mood for some fried plantain. Usually I buy it at the 
uh, Chinese uh, restaurant. So I decided I'm going to make it and I'm going to have it with some uh, salad. Okay, I bought some cabbage, red cabbage and lettuce. And uh, there's the uh, plantain, not banana, plantain. So I'm going to make two of it. But I'm going to change first and then get to work. And the kids want to... Uh, what did they want? Uh, I made some fish and rice, so they want that. I'm gonna change and then come back and do this. This is the whole thing. 